This from Football Network. NFL roster rankings excluding the quarterback position. Uh, they go 49ers, 1, Browns, 2, Lions, 3, Jets, 4, Chiefs, 5, Dolphins, Bears, Eagles, Bengals, Texans round out the top 10. Browns roster strength and weaknesses. The strength, they say, is the offensive line. Weakness is the running back because of Chubb's injury. Um, I don't. The, the offensive line concerns me a little bit just because – Guys are a little bit older, and, and all the top three tackles are coming off pretty significant injuries a season ago. Yeah, I would agree. If you were to look at the starters, I get that. <clears throat> I would get that you would think that that's a very strong unit. What we saw is last year when you're down the tackles five and six, you know, their, their depth did not hold up throughout the year. So that, that's something that they've definitely addressed this offseason. Um, I would also think that you could at the same time say the other side of the trenches would be their strength. I think their defensive line is more of the strength of this team than the offensive line at this point. I think they finally surpassed them. If I were to look at weaknesses, I would have tight end above running back. Because even though I, I agree not you know having a, a certainty on Nick Chubb is, is something to be concerned about, I think that that room's fine as is even without Chubb. I think Deontay Foreman, Ford, Hines, you know, maybe even Pierre Strong or Aiden Robbins, the, the kid they're bringing in. I think that's still a pretty strong room if you look across the league. I think that would stack up with, with most of them. You know, obviously if Chubb's healthy, it blows it out the water. But I, if I look at tight end, you know, I, I, I understand that they're probably going to run a, a lot more 11 personnel they have in years past. But if Njoku's to sprain a high ankle sprain or a, a God forbid, a broken wrist like he had in 2019 – I don't know what you're putting out there. So to me, tight end seems like a much bigger weakness to me. Yeah, I you could make a case that the secondary is the strength. You got the three cornerbacks, mm -hmm. Grant Delpit. Yeah, I know Juan Thorn Juan Thornhill played with a calf injury all season. So I, yeah. Rodney McLeod, I, th that secondary is pretty darn good. Yeah, not just the starters. They're they're backups too. I mean, right. you, they're they're deep at safety. They're deep at corner. Like this is. Their secondary could definitely be viewed as a strength. There's a lot of strengths on this team, you know. <laughs> like they like to have the second overall uh, roster on that list. I guarantee you, everyone in that top five has a higher uh, over under win than eight point five. That's what I would say. Yeah, I, I would. Uh, I would agree. You think that's another Sean Watson tax that we're uh, we're paying mm. there? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. It appears so. I, I would think so.